One of my university professors once told me that it's impossible to have two words in English with exactly the same meaning. When that happens, one of the words dies out. Recently, some readers have been sending me lots of what's the difference between these words questions. Some of the differences are very small, but as my professor told me, there's always a difference. Do you know the differences between these words and phrases? Aim for and aim at. Look at these wonderful people doing odd and strange things. Who's saying aim for? Who's saying aim at? Aim for is trying to get yourself somewhere. Aim at is trying to get something somewhere else. So, if you're the guy with the gun, you're aiming at the target. If you're the boy on the pig, you're aiming for it. Okay, let's look at these in more detail. Aim for. Of course, most of the time, we don't try to ride pigs into big targets. This phrase is usually all about personal goal setting. We often use it to talk about our ultimate or final goal. He's aiming for the stars. I'm going to aim for full marks. I can do it. We can also aim for a date when we're making plans with people. Let's aim for the 28th to finish this project. Aim at. Aim at can generally be used in two ways. Both ways are about getting something somewhere. The first way is quite aggressive and is about attacking something or someone. We often think about guns with this verb, but also about personal attacks. He aimed his anger at the boss. Try to aim at the center of the target. We can also use the phrase take aim at. She took aim at her opponent's weak argument. The second way we can use this phrase is in advertising or media. We talk about how a product, project, TV show or band can be aimed at a certain type of customer or audience. This course is aimed at higher level students. I think fast food adverts that are aimed at children should be banned. Either way, it's about getting something to someone, either a bullet or a hamburger. What words do you find confusing in English? Let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer them in a future video. Also, don't forget to be awesome and subscribe. Great, well, um, see you next week. Thanks for watching.